Wilson in Englewood, Colorado. Wow, we were just in Englewood, Colorado at the Civic Center and we recorded a fabulous guitar player for Octave Records, Anna Vitovich. If, you've, if you're into classical guitar, you have to know Anna Vitovich. And if you don't know Anna Vitovich, just put it into Google, V-I-D-O-V-I-C. She is amazing. And we just recorded her live in, in Englewood to a sold out crowd. I mean, this place was packed to the rafters. People, <laughs> we were, I mean, you know, I've never paid a whole lot of attention to classical guitar. People were coming from Arizona. One guy came from as far away as, as like Michigan, drove out here with his mother to see Anna. Crazy. It, she's just fabulous. Okay, but that's probably not what Wilson wants to know about. He says, I'm currently building a professional PA system, public address system, and am considering 14 gauge twisted wire between the amps and the mains. Is there a qualitative sonic benefit of twisting wire as opposed to straight? My choices will hinge on your thoughtful analysis. Well, first off, 14 gauge, eh, I'd go 12. I think there you're gonna have a qualitative difference. Twisting it, I don't think it's going to buy you a whole lot. I played around with mains cables a lot. I can tell you that if you're up for it, braiding it is much better because then you're at right angles and you, you, you don't have the inductance of the, the, the straight zip cord sort of thing. And 12 gauge over 14 gauge will give you much better, more solid bottom end on that. And how much attention should you pay? Well, it's a PA system. If it were me and I was building this PA system, I would make my own cables using solid core Romex with some off the shelf, nice connectors and call it good. That's what I would do because the difference between 14 gauge and 12 gauge is actually to my ear rather significant. The twisting of it, I don't think it's going to buy you much, and I don't think it would be worth your time to do that. I would stay away from stranded if you can. I know 12-gauge Romex or any kind of solid core is a real pain in the keister because it doesn't bend so well, and you may be forced to do, uh, you know, um, stranded wire. I, I, I get it. And if you are, it's not the end of the world, okay? Good luck with your project out there and. Englewood, Colorado. All right. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye.